Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my July book haul. These are basically the books that I got for July or by the end of June. So normally I would do a TBR video during the beginning of the month and the reason why I am not doing one this month is because I don't have a particular reading list for July. I mean I still have a few books from last month that I need to finish so I'm thinking I would finish them first and read some of these books at least these are basically the books that I got by the end of June first week of July and I would be reading them soon so without any delay let's get into the first book so the first book is legend of suhail dev the king who saved india by amish now i have been a fan of amish's writing since the immortals of meluha the shiva trilogy actually i have read the first book in the ramchandra series i have to read it again because it's been ages and i still have all the other books i have them i haven't read the rest of the series so this is a new series and this book is about this king suhail dev who is from a small kingdom and he has to unite all these divided rulers to rise up against the turkic army it is about the battle of bahrain a thing that is what it's called so i have never read about this part of history before there are lots of stories about patriots and kings and we have read them studied them in our history texts but I've never heard of Suhail Dev and I'm really curious to see because this is actually based on a true incident and most of our heroic patriotic stories are just larger than life. So this is a bit of a new information because I've never heard of this thing before and I think it's always good to learn something new and in the form of fiction. Yes, please. So the next book is Faith and the Beloved by Kochiri Seshigo. So the first book that I read from Kochiri Shibu was Men and Dreams in Doladar. I didn't exactly love the book, but I liked the premise, the characters were complicated, and overall I had a fun time reading it, but it was just a one time read for me. So Faith and the Beloved is his next book that already came out in May. and uh, i got a review copy from the author himself and i'm hoping that you know i would enjoy reading this one and probably love this one more than the first one i really hope i love this because his stories and premise are very uh, familiar to me because he is a keralaite so he brings that elements of our culture like kalari those things are prominent part of his story i love that fact about his books and i think in this book as well we would uh, we would see that because the book is about three characters naiti prem and alice and their paths cross each other as they are fighting their own battles in life so naiti is married to a person who is involved with some kind of sleeper cell terrorist outfits and prem is a colorly exponent whose life revolves around his brother arun but then arun is killed by the policeman and prem wants his revenge so he kills the man who killed his brother and he is on the run now alice is a gamer she is into mystery games she is this cyber genius kind of a kid but when her mother is in a coma and she is hospitalized alice has to face a lot of challenges and her life takes a different turn so all these people are on the run or some kind of a breaking point in their life and their paths mysteriously cross so in the first book also it was about random characters it felt as if i'm reading anthology of some kind until after the second half when all their paths crossed miraculously so i love the aspects about stories you know which starts at different points and all converge by the end of the book So I'm hoping to enjoy this book. I've started this already. It's a bit violent as of now. So let's see how this goes. So next book is Hunted by the Sky by Tanas Batina. I don't have this book with me as of now because I pre-ordered it and this one came out by the end of June. So it should have been here but there are some restrictions in my area so the delivery is being pushed back. and i'm hoping i would get this very soon but the cover is so gorgeous that i had to order a you know hard copy instead of an ebook the book follows a young girl named gul and gul lives in the kingdom of ambar ambar is sky so i think that is what 
the name indicates haunted by the sky i think that is what it is so girls like her that is amber has this star shaped birthmark on her arm are hunted by the king and uh, in this chase her parents got killed gul is another girl on the run and when a group of women called the sisters of the golden rose rescue her and train her into a warrior they make her realize her powers of magic and who she is and then all gul wants is revenge Kavas is a guy who is, who loves his family a lot but his father falls sick and he is about to devote his whole life to the king's army when he meets Gul and he is smitten by her and naturally he gets involved with the fight that she is with her mission so overall this sounds like a great YA fantasy and uh, the author has an indian background so that is another draw for me i hope this book reads his me quickly so that i could tell you more about it So the next book is Beyond Imagination the Battle Between Life and Death by Sreya Se Kumar. This book was a random pick. I was just browsing through my Kindle, you know, unlimited library looking for a good book and the synopsis of this book just caught my attention. So I will just read that synopsis to you because if you are not drawn by this synopsis, I don't know what else can draw you. Exploring the mystery creation of the creator is a mystery itself. In this infinite universe, every word has their own meaning and individual existence. Whether see it or not, whether touch it or not, whether hear it or not. Durga, the young wildlife photographer has experienced the world's most beautiful, mysterious and miracle forest where beauty is intoxicating, alluring and attractive. There the life is cheaper the savior is the killer and the beauty itself is an illusion if you can save yourself from all this you will be alive otherwise you will be at the mouth of the dead let's explore the mystery of creation a journey of love and many life changing events with duka so <laughs> that was the synopsis normally i i have said this before i think when i talked about the guest list by lucy foley i love the stories with this kind of premise as in us humans have built civilizations and the societal norms but if you're plucked out of those scenarios and left out there in the wild our primal instincts are what that guides us so we could really find who we are in this kind of atmosphere in this kind of a premise so that is my main draw uh, when i read these kind of stories So I really want to know more about this mysterious story. I think this is a thriller or fantasy or a combination of both or some kind of allegory, I don't know. So after reading that, I really have high expectations for this story. I hope it's worth it. So the next book is Media Queen by Michelle Prack. And this book I requested from NetGalley. I love reading women's fiction and I always keep a mixed DBR. So Jordan Fairweather is one of the top people in the magazine world. She comes from a small town and she has worked hard to get on top of this world. But things are changing. The internet is coming that is already threatening magazines and there are young media stars who want to take up her position. So Jordan needs to fight for her survival. She is determined to keep her position. These kind of stories, you know, that gives us a glimpse about the publishing industry, what goes on. always fascinate me i mean i have read the devil wears prada i watched the movie okay i i watched a few episodes of younger or because mainly because it is about you know publishing and all that goes behind it so these are always my favorite kind of premise and yes i would like to know jordan spite i'm hoping to have this entertaining and competitive read which gives an overall glossy feeling like the magazine itself The last book that I got is another arc from Net Galley, advanced readers copy from Net Galley. So this is We Are Family by Nicola Gill. So I have a sister. So stories about sisters are always close to me. I love the synopsis in this one as well. That is the main draw. Jess and Laura are sisters. Jess is a type A personality. She is very organized and focused, while Laura is a laid back one. They lost their father as kids, and they have completely different lives. But when their mother passes away, they have to come home and figure out what to do next. 
always when families come together as adults even if we have grown up together we become completely different people and when we are together there's love but there are also clashes so that is what happens when these sisters come together there is a personality clash but just and laura must point a way to figure out their differences because they need each other now more than ever a family story about sisters i'm all for it those are all the books that i would love to read very soon and let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books or what are the books that you are planning to read for the month of july don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye